Hello friends, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we're gonna make some cute, pretty snowmen. Um, so we're just y'all just come on in and say hello. If you're watching replay, I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching the replay. I know everybody can't watch live, but that's just because life happens and it's a busy time of the year. So y'all come on in and say hello. Hello Luann, hello my friend. So we are gonna make something cute. Um, it's been on my list for a while. Hey Carla, hey Karina, hey Claudia. So I'm just gonna start getting my little stuff out here. Hey Diane, hello all my friends. Get some scissors. Hey Colin, hello son, I'll see you in a few days. Hey Jan, hello Kay. Hello, Tina, Rich, Miller's watching. Hello, Gwen. Oh, it's getting, getting dark so early. It's just getting to me. Hey, Melanie. Hello, Shirley. Hello, Donna. Dry and itching. Hey, Kathy. And I sit down and the heat comes on. I'm going to start sweating <laughs> in a minute. I've been cold, though. I can't get warm. Hello, Hazel. Hello, Stacy. You had a snow day today from school? Oh my gosh, wow. Y'all keep that snow up there. I don't want any of that snow. Um, I did have a good day. I didn't, me and Chase did not go on our little outing like I told y'all. Uh, we're going tomorrow. Just, things didn't work out <laughs> today. What he was gonna do tomorrow ended up happening today. Anyway, so, um, hello, Carolyn. Oh, thank you, Karen. So, hello, Wendy. So, we're going to go tomorrow. We're going to the Peabody to see the ducks. And then we're going to, y'all, allergies. I'm telling y'all, I've had worst allergies this year ever. Um, hey, Julie. And then we're going to Graceland tomorrow. So, we're going to do our little mother-son day tomorrow for Christmas and go eat lunch. And I'll have all the fun stuff. And then I'm going to come home and do my paint class tomorrow night. So if y'all don't know about my paint workshop, I'll show y'all really quick. Um, it's going to be six o'clock tomorrow night. So if y'all joined and you got the download and all that stuff, it's going to be six o'clock, not seven, because we got several paintings to do and we don't want to be painting till midnight. Hey, Peggy. Hey, Shirley. Hello, Rhonda. So we're going to be painting trees. So here's one tree we're going to be doing. Yay, Marcedia! It's been an all-day stuff going on. Oh, you're so sweet. We're gonna be painting this tree. Oh, my chair's rolling away. We're gonna be painting that tree. Hello, Jane. And we're gonna be painting this tree. Um, hey, Jane. Hello, Loretta. So it's not too late to join the workshop. Um, we're gonna be doing this tree too, but it's the same as the first tree, but it's just different colors. But uh, we're going to be painting these trees. So, it's a perfect way. Hello, Linda. Hello, Gayla. Hello, Brenda. Alicia. Hello. So, if you still want to join the workshop, you can comment Shop TTV all together. And it's going to take you, it's going to send you a link in your messenger to my shop. And it's in my shop. It's in the painting and download classes or it's in uh, miscellaneous. So, it's in both categories. So, you can definitely join and it's going to be at six o'clock not seven so if y'all have already joined i've tried to make that put it everywhere you got emails today reminding you to get in the group if you haven't already gotten in the group and you've joined the workshop but you haven't gotten in the facebook group check your email um so anyway so there's a whole bunch of us in there we're going to have a great time we're going to be painting trees tomorrow night so i'm got a full day tomorrow i'm going to the peabody to see the ducks and going to eat lunch going to graceland and i'm going to paint with y'all so we're gonna paint it's only gonna it's only ten dollars if you're in my subscription group check the post that's in there about the class and um yeah just you can comment at shop ttv and it's gonna give you a link and you can go in your messenger and you can go to my shop but it's gonna remain open until i start the class tomorrow night so you know if you want to get in the last minute some people are going to be watching the replay the replay will always be there but be sure and look at the digital download and know where the group is to get in the group. If you have any trouble, just message me. Yes, I'm looking forward to painting tomorrow night too because those are so fun and I love to put paint on a canvas. It's something relaxing to me about it and I just love doing it. 
And this time of the year, we're all so stressed and hustle and bustle and going and going and going and doing and thinking about what we got to do next. And so it's a good way to just relax, have some time for you, sip on some hot cocoa and let's paint trees. It's going to be fun. Hey, Kathy. Hello, Cindy. Yay. Yeah, Cindy's in there. Yes. A bunch of y'all are in there. Hey, Sandra. Hey, Melinda. Okay. So this has been on my list for a while to do. Um, I see them on Instagram. I see them on um, TikTok some. I see them on Pinterest a lot. And I've had this on my list for a while. But uh, we are going to do some fancy snowmen. Hey, Robin. Hello, Christy. Hello, Ellen. So, I got some black fabric. This is going to be my background, okay? And y'all probably seen this done, and you probably have have may even done something similar to this. Um, next year, my goal is, um, thank you, Melanie. My goal next year is to do a tree this way. Um, but I've got to collect a whole bunch of stuff before I do my tree. Me and Shaney already have it on our list to do next year. We're going to do a tree. Um, and so what I'm going to make our snowman, we're going to make a, f a few of them, uh, cause I'm going to do them a little different. We're going to do, we're going to do some with, um, the blingy bling stuff. And we're going to do some with snowflakes or one with snowflakes. And then we're going to do some with pipe cleaners. So there's different ways that you can do these little, yay, Judy. Hey, Ann. There's different ways you can do these little snowmen. And, um, you can do this on. I got canvases here. If you want to do it on a reverse canvas, you can do it on a, in a frame. The first one I'm gonna do is on a frame. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Trudy. Yay, you got your earrings. You can do it on one of these. You don't have to have a frame. You can just do it on any surface, okay? Um, and there's several ways to do this. Uh, I've done it with buttons. I've done it all kinds of ways. So I am a hoarder of little frames, okay? I'm just I'm going to just go ahead and admit up to it that I love frames okay um, so of course <laughs> of course I had to uh, pile them all on my table because I don't know exactly which one I want to use hey Debbie hey Carol hello Gracie so um, you know, I gotta see what my snowman's gonna kind of be like. I don't know what his personality's gonna be like to what kind of frame I wanna put him in. So, we're gonna do several different ways. So, these are like silver. I just grab these, like, this is 99 cents at Goodwill. I grab them when I see the little frames, especially weird shapes like this one's square. You don't see a lot of square. I love these oval ones. This one, the back of it's floating around. Here's a brass one. I really love this, and I'm honestly thinking that this is going to be my first snowman. Um, pipe cleaner trays all trees all day. Yay! They're so cute. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, so I got y'all. If y'all, this table was clean, and when I started piling stuff on it to get prepared for this, it's like, oh, I need this, and then I need this, and then I need this, and this, and this, and y'all, it there's stuff on here. I don't even know. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use this frame first. And this is actually pretty heavy. I probably got this at Goodwill. Um, I love oval frames. Oval frames is like, that's just like makes my heart go pitter patter when you see an oval frame. Um, because it's just different. I wanna be different. I'm gonna bring him to life. Okay, so I'm taking the glass out. Um, I'll put this with my other glass that I have over there that. I don't know what to do with. I was telling Dorothy the other day, I'm like, what do I do with this glass? I just keep holding on to it. I know I love oval frames. I, this one's big, it's kind of heavy. So um, I will use my glass though to make my template for my... Yay, Glenda! I look forward to seeing y'all. Um, Cause I, you know, if I did this without y'all, then you'd be like, oh my gosh. You did that? You didn't show us how to do that. So, here I am. Where? Okay. I know I have it. Look, I have greenery that greenery stuck in my cart, little compartments over here. Um, just in case I need it. Where is my chalk pencil? I have a chalk pencil. And I cannot find it. 
What are these here somewhere? Hold on, Ma. Pause while I find my chalk pencil. Where are you? Okay. We don't know where he is. Oh, y'all, my nose is wanting to run. Yeah, oval frames stand out. They're just different. Okay. So, I'm basically just going to cut around it because I can't find my... I have a chalk uh, pencil and I cannot find it. So, I could draw on my black fabric, but we're just going to... We're just going to do this and cut around my uh, glass so I know exactly how big to make my oval on my fabric. I'm probably going to have to trim it a little bit because, you know, my glass is kind of sliding all around. That's why I wanted to draw around it, but that didn't happen. I have everything on my table except my chalk marker. Okay, so here's my... Uh, Thank you, Chris, from Michigan. My picture's seen on the back of the glass and painted blush. Oh, yeah, Linda, I guess I could do that, couldn't I? Oh, hello. All right, so I'm gonna make this lots prettier than it is. Um, I'm gonna probably put some rub and buff on it just to make all of those real pretty uh, things pop out. But we're gonna make our snowman first. So this is what it's gonna, I just cut two layers of that. I didn't realize it was two layers, hello. All right, so that's what it's gonna look like. So maybe I just need to put it, leave it in there and do my snowman in there. And of course, y'all, this time of the year, everything has glitter stuck to it. Hey, Char, does everything of y'all's have glitter stuck to it? My floor looks like a disco in here. Me and um, Dorothy, we vac went back. We swept a bunch of it up yesterday, and it still looks like that. It looks like a disco in here because I've got Christmas glitter everywhere. Okay. Well, what is happening? What is happening? Are you going to slide around? So I just got to tack it down. It's got this like piece of paper in there. Let's just, just get rid of that. All right. I think I'm going to, it's got a hint, you know, it, it doesn't, the back doesn't come off and that's causing a problem because it would be a lot easier if the back just came off. What is going on? Why well, I want it. I guess I need a piece of cardboard or something in there, but anyway. Hey, Martha. Okay, so let me, uh, let's do this. I'm trying to get my fabric in there and I'm gonna tack it down with just a dot of hot glue. Okay, now see if I can just dot, just a dot, I mean a dot, just a dot. Like here and there, just to get it to stay down. Because I really don't want to make this permanent, I guess I'm trying to say. <sighs> hey, Martha. Why do you have glitter everywhere? Because it's Christmas. <laughs> Did you tell them because, it had, because it's Christmas and that's what happens at Christmas. Everything that is anything to do with Christmas um, has glitter on it. I I'm sorry, I don't know why that is, but it's like, I'll see something cute. And I saw something cute in Hobby Lobby. I was in there yesterday. And <laughs> I was I saw this cute Santa. And this lady was buying some at the counter. And he was adorable. He's like a little figurine. But then he's got glitter on his little wreath. And I'm like, why does everything have to have glitter? Okay. So I have, I think this one's from Walmart. I have lots of this bling, okay? Like these brooches. And I really, really want to do a tree next year. But we're gonna make a snowman with a pretty snowman with all of this really pretty uh, stuff. And you can get this, like these are $1.99 at Hobby Lobby for this card. Anything over $3.49 um, is $1.99. Anything under from $3.49 under is 99 cents. So, I think I got one that was 99 cents, but you know. But still, that's very reasonable for 
this kind of stuff. Walmart has them over in the sewing section. But if you have like, you know, old jewelry, you can get old jewelry like at estate sales and stuff like that too. I'm not going to cut myself, but I am going to pop this off. How far out do you plan your next year's Christmas projects? Well, this was just something that is too late to do it now kind of thing. Oh, I hope I can get this off. Um, so, it's just on my list to do next year. And I'll just be collecting stuff all year for it. Does that make sense? Trying to get the little, um, the shank off. But if I can't. We'll just put glue around it and go with it because I can't. That's some tough stuff. I could at least just cut it in half. I can't. That's some tough stuff, whatever that is. Okay, so I'm leaving it on there, but it's kind of like domed. But that's going to be the bottom of my snowman. So that's going to be the his his base. Hey, Mary. Don't snip. I know, Vicky. you know, I did that one time with those scissors, and now I'm, like, terrified of it. Okay, so I'm going to try to get it centered, but I think I'm just going to put glue around the shank, and because it's kind of got a dome to it, if that makes any sense. Let's see if I can get it to... To stay like this. Grasp it and twist it instead of trying to cut it. I tried to do that, but... Alright, we'll try it again. Let me get my glue off real quick. And I'll try one more time to pop it off. Clear beat... Julie, you're so smart. Y'all are so smart, see? Why? Yeah, y'all are so smart. This is why... It ain't twisting. <laughs> And the hot glue is helping me hold on to it. But, yeah, it ain't going anywhere. Man, that's a strong button right there. Oh, wait. I did pull part of it off. The part with a hole in it. The hot glue kind of helped a little bit. Okay. Well, there we go. All right. I think that's going to help. I'm just using... Um, <laughs> Y'all, the stuff gets all over this black. I'm just using my own high. I guess maybe I should turn it down, but... Um, and I'm going to put some glue here. And maybe that'll build it up where it'll stay. And I'm just going to hold it here a second. Hey, Darlene from Mississippi. Hey, Sandy. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Georgianne. All right. See if I can get my little snowman to stay. His little base. And I may have to put something under. I just got to find something. Okay. How about this? I got these little sticky back pearls. If I can grasp a hold of it. Why don't I just put one right there? And I'm just going to put a little hot glue there. Now. Nobody will ever know that little pearl is under there. Okay, now, so I'll show you what we got. Get all the glue off. So there's the base of my snowman. If I hold it too close, y'all can't see, but it does have pearls. Now y'all can see it. It's like the light shines on it, but it's pearls and it's, um, the, it has rhinestones and all that stuff. So let me, let's put another pearl. Lost, oh, there it is. I lost my little pearl. I popped it off the card and it's, it's, um, let's do this. I got the pearl on my finger, so. And then hopefully I can stuck to my fingernail. There it goes. All right. You love it already? <laughs> I just got the one part on. Okay. 
So then I want something that's kind of smaller to go on the next thing. Um, oh, you brought your pipe cleaner tray to work and everybody loved it. Ah, they, um, they're just so stunning looking, even though they're pipe cleaners. All right. So this one, this one's really pretty too. These were $1.99 for two of them at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so I'm gonna, it's got a, all right, this one's super thin, so I feel like I can get it off, because it's not like that one was. Yeah, look at there, it just popped right off. I think it's plastic. That one was, must have been metal. Okay, so it came right off. So I'm gonna, that's gonna be my middle part of my snowman. I do, Dana, somewhere. I do. And this one is really domed up, so I'm gonna have to put glue like on the tips. It's like a little umbrella almost, that makes any sense. I'm gonna have to be careful though, because I don't wanna get it on my, my black fabric. So I'm just gonna put some everywhere it touches. <gasps> yeah, and I did just what I didn't wanna do. Dropped it and it stuck to my, fabric over here, but I got it off. We're all good. It is going to be so pretty, but we're going to do them a few different ways. Not just with the bling. We're going to do some buttons, um, some pipe cleaners. Look how pretty he's already looking. <laughs> all right. So let's see this one. So there's another card with two. Y'all love all of these blingy things from Hobby Lobby. They they're on sale, but they're on sale right now because I was there yesterday because I'm going to use some tomorrow night in my class. How's the purging going? Judy, it's going. It's, I mean, it looks a whole lot better than it did um, in here. And I have gotten out a lot of stuff. So I've gotten boxes full of stuff for mystery boxes that's coming. Um... Because y'all have got entirely too much stuff. Those are the bling buttons. Yes, Mary, they are. I love the bling buttons at Hobby Lobby. They're back there on the stand at, back there in the sewing section. They're on like a standing stand that spins where all the buttons are. That's where they are. I'm not going to let it win, though. You love them, too, Lori? I do, too. Because they're not very expensive at all. And Walmart has them, too, where the buttons are at Walmart. But if you have, like, old cosmet I mean, co uh, cosmetic, old costume jewelry and stuff, this would be perfect for that. Let's see if that's going to work. No, it's not. i got to get this off. Yeah, Walmart has them too, back in the sewing area where the buttons are. Like, uh, the first one I used was Walmart. This one is Walmart. So they have small ones, big ones. They have all different size. I'm freezing tonight. Come on. Cutting it, squeezing it, pushing it, mashing it. It's not working. The second one did really good. I don't know what this stuff is made of, but my gosh. There's some heavy-duty buttons here. All right. I'm trying to at least grind it down until I get it short enough. It's fine on your end. Haha, ha, look at there. These pliers have like a cutter in the blade. Okay, that's gonna have to work. Yes, Janelle, I want to make a tree also. Um, Shaney had sent me a picture of one um, a couple of weeks ago and I was like, yeah, we'll have to put that on our list for next year and do Christmas crafts next year. And um, do a tree. I want to do a jewelry tree. 
So we're going to have to collect stuff all year. Okay, so here is, well, hold on. I got to do some adjustments. But I'm trying to get it to where you don't see the glue. That's the fun part. I'm talking about hip replacement, knee replacement, surgery. All right, so here is, all right, there is my snowman. But see all the glitter and stuff on the background, y'all? It's like, you can get all this glitter to go away. I want it just to be black. <laughs> Still see glitter. Where's all the glitter coming from? Can't get the... Okay. <laughs> when I hold it up to the camera, I see, I know y'all see it too, because it's just everywhere. So there's my little snowman. Now, my thing was, it's like, what am I going to do for his hat? And I have racked my brain and racked my brain and racked my brain. This one is kind of square, squ round square, but it wasn't square enough for me. So my only... My only saving grace is this stuff from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has tons of like all these little stickers and blingy stickers and pearls and all the things. Um, oh, scotch tape, Martha. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Hey, Lynn. So, see these jewels? They are like a whole sheet of this stuff, okay? So, I'm going to try to cut him a hat. He should be a she. Okay, Sharon, we're going to say she then. All right, so let me trim that. And let me see how many I need to make a hat. Her a hat. So, got to have a brim. And I'm just going to cut. We'll cut too many. High, and then I can cut it down. So, hold on. One. Two. All right. <laughs> well, okay. Can't see where I cut. Uh, feel like I'm doing surgery or something. Good thing I'm not, because y'all... <clears throat> All right, so I just cut, so see, it's blingy. It's plastic, but it's blingy. Um, but I'm going to try to make this a hat. So I know it's too tall. I'm going to cut it down. I'm going to cut one row down and see if that's going to work. I think that's too tall. Okay, so this is going to be my hat. Look how stinking cute this is. Okay, so all you have to do, all this stuff is connected. I'm going to trim off these little... They're connected by these little threads. So I'm trying to cut all those threads off. All right. Did I get those? Okay. A snow woman. <laughs> um, all right. So you peel it off and it's all this stuff. So now it's like, do I kind of cock it to the side? Okay, I'm gonna barely place it so y'all can see. All right, that's straight up and down. But I think I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna kind of cock it to the side to give it a little, a little sass. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Look how cute this is. And see, those are just plastic, little plastic little gems or something from the Dollar Tree. It comes on a sheet like this that'll last you forever. Um, as you can see, <laughs> I've had this for a long time. Shiny pipe, yes, we're gonna do that too. We're gonna make the shiny pipe cleaners. Okay, so then I was like, well, I need a scarf. What can I make a scarf out of? 
they have this stuff on a roll at Dollar Tree where it's not sticky. And unfortunately, I don't have that. Or I have this chain because I used to make jewelry all the time. Um, I can make a chain. Or I think this is the route I'm going to go right here because if I put gold rub and buff on this frame, I want some gold. And this is that cord stuff. Um, and I think I'm going to make the scarf out of that. Only problem is, is it frays really, really bad. So we're about to see. I say we are. Oh, I gotta do arms. I just realized I got arms over here. Where is my, I have a lighter somewhere over here. I'm supposed to. Hmm. Red Rover, Red Rover, where are you? Where are you? Why can't I find anything I need? Maybe because this cart's got way too much stuff on it, and that might be the reason. Normally, if I wasn't looking for it, I would have it. Okay. Well, can't find my lighter. Cannot make any fire. Okay. Hey, Sherry. All right, so I can't, I'm gonna, I was gonna singe the ends of that. Ugh, it's really getting on my nerves. Cause I know I've got one just for that purpose. And it should stay, oh, oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. So I'm gonna see if this will work. Um, so because this stuff frays like super bad, like super bad. Like you just look at it and it starts spraying. So I'm gonna try to just singe the end and, hope, and hoping that that's gonna work. All right, so because this scarf's not gonna go all the way around, we're gonna make it look like it does somehow. But when you do these guys, y'all just look in your, um, just look in your stash and just use what you have. I mean, I just went around and found all kinds of stuff. Hey, Lynn that I could use. And like I said, I piled this table high full of stuff. Um, okay, Brenda, good night. I know this time change and this getting dark at five o'clock makes me feel like it's time to go to bed. Okay, I'm trying to double it up. I'm trying to tie it in a knot right here to make it look like a scarf. Hey, Rita. All right, so, I don't know, that knot looks pretty big. <laughs> All right, let's go away. Trying to get it to where it's the same, right length of his neck. Okay. Without having to cut it again, because you know, if I cut it, ugh, it's gonna fray. All right. You gotta start over. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna uh, fry it when I get, I mean, uh, burn the ends when I get done. <laughs> Cause my neck part was too long. Cause I gotta just make it like a little piece that goes across because we're not actually tying a knot in it. We're tying a knot, but we're not tying it around the snowman. So it's just gotta look like Okay, here we go. I'm gonna let it fray just a hair. All right, so see, I just took it and I looped it and then I tied it in a knot. And that's my scarf knot, basically. <laughs> okay, so see, that's all I did. I just looped, looped it and tied it together in a knot. So that's my little scarf knot. Okay, so now I'm going to put a little hot glue across here so I can glue my scarf down. So it just looks like it's around its neck, but it's really not. Okay. 
And this would be cute, like if you had some gold chain or some gold something. But look how stinking cute this is. I cannot stand it. See, I wanted that pop of gold. Yes, she said the gold looks really good. Yes, it does, because I just wanted that little pop of gold. Because now, we are going to, and I'm going to just leave it like that. That's my snowman. It's no more, no less. I'm just going to, um, where's my rub and brush? Rub and buff paint brush. See if it's all crunchy. Well, it's not too bad. Um, put me some rub and buff right here. But yeah, you could use anything for the scarf. Um, you can even use a pipe cleaner. A gold pipe cleaner would work. I have those, but we're going to use that for something else. But see how dark that frame is? And I'm just going to... Look how pretty that is. So I, if I find, you know, little frames that I just really like, I will pick them up and I have a little stash of them because I love, like, especially this. This is just so different and it's oval. You just don't see a lot of oval. It's just different. And the black, of course, is stunning, but you know, you can paint anything and give it a whole new life. Cause you saw how drab it was a minute ago. And now I'm giving it a little bit more of a, um, a little facelift almost. Okay, look how pretty it is now. Stunning! Love it! My little, I keep trying to make it straight, but I got the hat cocked just a little bit. Now, if I had silver rub and buff, which I need to get, I would probably go over that too with some of that. But uh, I don't. I need to get some. I only have this, and I use antique gold. That's the only tube I have. I've had this tube for like a several years, and y'all see it, it goes a long way. And I put way too much out. Now let's buff it a little bit. <laughs> You're supposed to buff it after it dries. I don't know. Just, it just, I'm just buffing it because it says so. But look, I mean, God, it just changed the whole look of that frame. It's like, hello. <laughs> it looks so pretty. Just, just gives it that little umph of something. Um, I'm going to try to put this back. Can't get it back in the tube, but I may use it shortly. All right, where's the top to it before I we move on to the next one? Where is the top to my rub and buff? Here it is. Okay, over there. Um, I know that just puts it over the top. And you could put a bow up here if you wanted to, you know, whatever you want to do. But this would be beautiful as a gift. Get a thrifted frame. It's a black fabric. It's a few little buttons. Y'all, put this in a gift basket for somebody. This would be adorable. But I love this. I will be putting this in my home when Christmas is over. It is adorable. I love it. And it's just that simple. But it just looks like, oh, that's different. That's just kind of like what I think about it when I see it. It's like, oh, that's different. But the light catches it. I know y'all really can't see it. But I love it. Okay. So now what? Let's do something else. We're going to do, all right, so now we're going to do, I want to do one with um, snowflakes. So let's, I had them laid out over here, but you know, I done messed all that up. Okay, so just a little plastic snowflakes that you get um, everywhere. Like this one, that one came off of one of those tinsel Dollar Tree Trees, it's got the tinsel all over it. That's where that came from. You see the green tinsel? But it's a little plastic snowflake. And I could definitely use that in my little, my little man if I wanted to. I just pulled it off a minute ago because I was going through some stuff. And I was like, oh, um, I could use that. But I have, like, y'all know, you probably have stuff like this in your stash. I know I do. I have a little... 
drawer over here. One of them is for Christmas. And little stuff like this that just kind of get, I don't know, they don't get used. And you pop it off of something to use it for something else. I'll throw it in there. And I have Christmas drawer. And I have, you know, I have a drawer with all my bling in it. And I have like that. So that's how I do that. After Christmas, she puts up all her Christmas things and brings in all the snowmen. <laughs> yeah, because they can go through the winter. That's kind of why I did a snowman craft tonight because uh, I, ha I haven't done one yet. This one's got like a little loop on it, so I'm going to cut it off. I think this one's a Hobby Lobby one. But because Christmas is kind of, eh, you know, we're, we're here upon it. And then, but snowman can be left out all the time. I mean, all winter. Cutting up pipe cleaners all afternoon for the trees. <laughs> Cutting and folding. Okay. So, I cut that off. That was a little loop. This one I know is Hobby Lobby. But see, like, look. See, I have all these little snowflakes, buttons, and stuff like that. They're in this little bag. And then the bag goes in my Christmas little drawer with all the embellishments from Christmas. And then this is... It is a one of these flat backs from... Hobby Lobby, and they all have glitter on them. No wonder there's glitter everywhere. <laughs> um, so let's put this one. Y'all, I want to put it in a cute frame. So this one's going to be just three snowflakes. Um, and I can't hold it up and show it to you. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I've got to find a frame or something for it to go in. That's going to be too big. Could do it in this one, but that's too big. It's too small. Dun, dun. This one will work. Maybe will work. If I turn my snowflake that way, it might would work. But it's not going to have a hat. Oh, da, da, da. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this I haven't done any snowman this year at all, which is weird. <laughs> I don't think I have. I painted my snowman, but... That's it. So see, I got, this is from Dollar Tree. It's just like one of those little plaque things. So I'm thinking I can do this. Thinking. Hmm. I don't know. It's gonna, it'll look really good on the black though. If I put this, this is the second set of that Thing. I was thinking about Mod Podging it on there. So let me show y'all what it's going to look like while I'm sitting here. But my brain is working. So see, I've got three snowflakes. Um, I didn't put arms on my other one. I don't guess it needs arms. Does it need arms? Where'd it go? Does it need arms? It don't need arms. We'll put arms on this one. Okay. So... I need to paint this. I'm trying to figure out something out why well, I don't have to sit here and paint for five minutes. Oh, look at that. This one. This one. Here we go. Oh, I did my snowman vase. I sure did. There he is. He's right there. Yes. He was he was like viral on Facebook. <laughs> that, that post got so many likes and comments taking the glass out again um putting it over there with that glass do i need do i need okay i can cut it the size of that piece of cardboard you fell asleep donna hello wake up <laughs> i know it gets dark outside at five o'clock it's like it's time to go to bed all right i'm gonna do black again just because it pops off that black so well and I'm going to use my little cardboard. Oh, how about let me get the double layers out this time instead of, I don't know what happened. <laughs> it felt like one piece. I didn't know it was doubled. I'm going just a little bit bigger. Okay. Where's my frame? So see, this frame is kind of black, kind of gold. Hey, Amanda. All 
Alright. So let's put it. See if I gotta cut it some more. Yep. I cut it. I cut it big on purpose. I can always take it off. I just can't add back. So I always cut it just a little smidge bigger. Okay. So let's try to do this. See if I can do it without actually having to um, glue it. Because then if I want to take him out of the frame, I can. Alright, so put my frame back together. Okay. That is not going to be enough, though. I need another piece of cardboard. We'll just use this piece of cardboard. You know how you have to get it mashed in there? It's still not going to be enough. Because, see, I took the glass out. So, that's what happens. Hmm. Why don't I put the glass uh, back here? And that's what I'll do. That's where the glass is going to go. Hello? Okay, so here's my frame. <laughs> Y'all see that? Okay, we don't need that to happen. So, let me make sure the front looks good, and it does. And I'm gonna put a drop of glue there. And it's gonna be like my little, uh, my little holder in her thing. Okay, somebody said something about what did I do. That's what I just did. If I hold it too close, y'all can't see it, but see it's blingy. It's one of those little uh, pieces of bling you can get from Hobby Lobby. But, isn't that so cute? I love it. It looks so pretty with your little winter decor. Hello, Ruth. So, I just put two dots of hot glue to hold my glass down. And it won't go anywhere, maybe. And then I'm going to put the back on. Like, I'm going to put, like, a dot on it and then it'll kind of um oh the snowman vase yes <laughs> that went my heat tool isn't it cute it's just one of those little bud vases that probably everybody has at home that you put like a single rose or something in that's all this was you can get them all day every day at the thrift store and I just painted the top and this is cardboard with snow text on it painted the bottom white and a snowman face and all the little embellishments, and there he is. He is adorable. Okay, I'm just making it where it won't stick to this. Okay, now, so my glass, see, it won't fall out. <laughs> now, we're ready. You're welcome, Carla. Okay, my snowflakes. Glitter, glitter, glitter. That's not the right one. All right. So, like I said, these are, they all got glitter on them. So, I'm going to have glitter whether I like it or not, I guess. So, this one's probably not going to have a hat. But we're going to give him some arms. And I've got, and I, these are wrapped up in a bag for a reason because y'all know this stuff from Dollar Tree that has glitter all over it. It, it just, it'll be everywhere in your car and everything else. But see the little branches on it? They look like little arms. Because that's what snowman arms are. is like little branches, right? So, I'm going to cut off. So, we're going to give him some little stick arms. So, like this. But see, I'm going to cut off those other little extras. So, we don't want him to have two sets of fingers. So there's one of his little arms, and they're silver. I'll have to cut it way down though. There's one of his little arms. Let's find another arm. Cause this thing is like coated in silver glitter. I think everything has to have glitter on it for Christmas. I mean, which I'm not complaining, but my gosh, not everything has to have glitter. <laughs> okay. 
there's the other little arm. Looks like a little snowman arm, don't it? I had to dig through my, my stuff to find some little things that look like arms. And I finally found this and it was in this bag. And I was like, oh, now I know why it's in the bag because God forbid it, I'll have it in my bed tonight and I, I'll change clothes and everything. <laughs> okay, that's got a big old piece of glitter on his finger. It looks funny. Okay. All right, so this is what, I haven't glued it down, but that's what he's gonna look like. Isn't that cute? The gift that keeps on giving, Annie. It is. Okay. I call it the herpes of craft supplies because you can't get rid of it. Once you get glitter, you can't get it. You can't get rid of it. It's everywhere. All right. It's kind of like beach sand. You go to the beach and you have a beach bag and all the good things. And you come home and you got sand still in the beach bag and everywhere else. Um, it just comes, it's everywhere. Okay. All right. So there's my first snowflake. And y'all probably, and see, he's, it's, it's glittery. So y'all can tell how it's got stuff. But if it's not glittery, you can make it glittery. All right. So let's put the next one down. So I know that's Hobby Lobby because... Uh, it's like a little ornament in the little, my little Christmas. I like to buy that stuff after Christmas when they put it on sale for like 75% off. That's a real good time to go buy it. And then I put it in my stash. All right, and this one is a Hobby Lobby one too. It's like one of those little flat backs that's in their little Christmas, Christmas uh, craft stuff. Okay, so he's not gonna have a hat. All right, my bottom's coming out. So there, so see how it's, let me see if I can get it to show y'all the glitter, but you probably can't. Those are glittery too. Okay, here's his little, <laughs> here's his little arms. I was trying to throw y'all his arm. So I'm gonna glue his little arms on. I'm gonna make him a scarf. Y'all, these are so simple. You just think about, okay, well, what's round that I can make a snowman out of? Snowflakes. And they're kind of round. Okay, there's, there's that. All right, there's these little arms. Don't look just like snowman arms. Isn't it cute? Oh, Tammy just got some pretty snowflakes from Timu. I have not gotten on Timu yet. Melissa. But it's going to be too big. It's going to stick out of my frame. But I have another plan for this one. For that hat. Alright, I got to get... I'm say, I got to get rid of my glitter, but my thing fell on the floor. But he's super cute. But I think as far as his, well, are we going to do this again for his scarf? Or we need to do something else? Pipe cleaner. I could make him a pipe cleaner scarf. Or I could make him, let's see, what else do I have? This might be a little bit too. Let's just see. All right, how can I make this happen? Hang on. Think about it. All right. Here's his little scarf. We're going to just see. Y'all tell me if this looks good or not, because, you know, I don't want it to be all pretty frame and all this, and this kind of make it look a little eh. Okay, I'm just gonna lay it up there so y'all tell me. Yes or no? I could use that as his hat. Tanya with Hummingbird Painting. His little, the little uh, uh, pipe cleaner? Or this, this. 
I'm just gonna make it in my hat. I can make it in my hat. So I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth and make like a. Huh? Make it in my hat. It's too big. Okay. Pipe cleaner. Okay, yeah, Tanya, you mean make the pipe cleaner, make his hat with the pipe cleaner. So I'm just kind of going back and forth like this, but we're squishing it together. And I'm gonna try to make a square <laughs> of some sort. That's my friend Tanya from Hummingbird Paintery. She moved to Texas on me, but I don't blame her. She had to be by her grandbabies. I don't blame her one bit. All right. Let me go down here and oh all right I better quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> all right now I gotta make him a brim ah that did not work out too good what did I do wrong I love miniatures but y'all it's hard sometimes hey Vicky it's hard making little stuff. Ugh. Well, it's too tall anyway. Jeez. Squish it down. Squish it down. My fingers just don't want to work sometimes with the small stuff. It's like, good Lord, I can't get it. It's too small. <laughs> can't hold on to it. I don't know about this this gold hat. It's the brim. I don't know about this hat, y'all. <laughs> I can't do the hat. Use the pipe cleaner. So make it maybe if I make it smaller. How did I just do? Oh, duh. If I make it smaller. No, I don't like that. I don't like any of that. Okay. Hmm. Well, maybe if I just do one like that. Oh, mm -mm. Okay. What am I going to do now? What about this? You liked it big? Or I got Baker's Twine? Let's try this. Do -do. And we'll do just what I did a few minutes ago. And I'm going to loop it like this. And then I'm going to tie it way up here. And that's going to be the knot in the scarf, basically. Two lengths of chain to make the hat. So y'all think I should make the hat out of this again? Out of that stuff? What am I doing? Okay. All right. All right, this is gonna be a scar. Just put a little bit of glue. A wee a wee bit. I'm trying to cut down on my glue gun strings are terrible. Especially when you're working on something black. It's like they're so much worse. Okay, that looks better. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Get his scarf. Okay, there's his scarf. That looks better. It's just baker's twine. A little bitty piece. <laughs> okay, so y'all saying I should make his hat out of this? Again? Let's see if I can make this happen. Like this way. Cut in. And then...
concentrating <laughs> while I'm cutting. Okay. Let me cut all these little strings off because they're all connected by this string. Okay. I think that's going to work. That's much better scarf, y'all think? Okay. Yeah, the other one, the pipe cleaner was too big. Too thick. All right. So, this is my hat. It's that sticky stuff, that sticky, that jewel stuff again that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to make his hat kind of go to the side. Oh! <laughs> Glitter. Okay. Look at him. <laughs> Isn't he cute? He is so cute. I think on his frame... Where is my, here it is. Let's, let's try something. So this is my silver, just my silver paint. And I'm gonna see, we're just gonna kind of brush it over the frame maybe. Try our best not to get it onto the black. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put just a little bit. So we can kind of dull down that. And I have a silver frame up here. Why I didn't use that, I don't know. So this is gonna kind of tone down that gold just a little bit since we're got a lot of silver going on. Well, I got a lot of silver right there. Now I gotta make it all match. <laughs> kind of got a little heavy on that side, but we'll just go heavy on the rest of it. Okay. That just kind of toned it down just a little bit. Now that needs to dry. But see, it just made it a little bit less just brassy gold. Isn't that pretty? So cute. Look at his little arms. He's so cute. He's got to dry though. The frame does. Okay. So that's snowman number two. Look, I got a whole family going. But how cute would this look with several different sizes of these together in like a little grouping? It's Groupings of things are always impressive to me. Like you have a whole bunch of, you have like one thing, but then you got a whole group of them together. They're all different, but they're together. It's just something about it. It just makes it, like, um, so cute. Uh-oh, somebody's father passed away. I think that's what that says. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know who it is, though. I can't see everybody saying prayers. I can't see. So, anyway, so, there's one and two. Okay. So, let's go, hmm... Let's do, I kind of want to do this, but I have to paint the frame and all that good stuff. And I kind of, um, hmm, <laughs> me thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay. All right. Oh, my hair looks good. I washed it, Tanya. <laughs> I'm kidding. I did, though. From DS. Um, I, my frames, I just get these frames. I get them at Goodwill. If I see an unusual frame, I'll pick it up. Um, I just like little frames. Just different frames. Um, so, see, this is just a canvas. So I'm trying to think, um, cause I got an idea for the little Santa hat I told y'all about. Um, and we want to do a pipe cleaner one. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Mike can do the pipe cleaner one in a little bit, in this little frame. <laughs> canvas snowman, you made it a few years ago. Yes, the little snowman that I made with these canvases from Walmart. Yes, that, that snowman is adorable. He's somewhere in my Christmas decor in here somewhere. 
Okay, so let's do this. Okay, I, don't, I say Ron, it's Rhonda, but I don't know Rhonda who, though. Somebody's father passed away, it looks like, that I could see. I missed it. I missed her comment. That's so sad. I understand. Hey, Betty. Lori, they come in a little pack at Hobby Lobby. Like, there's like four or five in a little pack. Um, and I've had them forever because it's like one of those things that I bought like after Christmas and you have, um, they're 75% off and it's like, oh, well, I might need these. They're only 50 cents or <laughs> So I'm getting, I'm trying to get the canvas off, but I'm trying not to miss comments. Oh, Rhonda Ortez. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. Yes, it is hard to lose a parent, especially in, especially at the holidays. It's 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 bad. It's always bad, but the holidays makes it just that much worse. Okay. So I'm gonna tear this off. Three weeks ago, Tanya. I am so sorry. Goodness gracious. It's terrible. He was trying to make a small hat today. And you could make a small hat, Lori, um, with some felt and just a pom-pom. You definitely could. Uh, I'm tearing this rest of it off because I can see it from the front. But I'm going to have to stain my little frame. Yeah, we are so sorry, y'all. That is so sad. Um, I lost my parents, well, my mom, right before Thanksgiving, so I very well know, oh, this is the most raggedy looking this frame I've ever seen, um, that one needs a little mending, okay, so now it's like, what color do I do it? What color does the frame need to be? I'm gonna... Put my, that's so sad, y'all. My prayers are definitely with y'all. It's hard any time to lose your parent. It's just not a good thing. All right, so what color does the frame need to be? Silver? I paint it silver? I don't know. Just thinking. See how this is gonna work with my, I'm gonna use Jingle Bells. Where's my bells? Okay. I don't know what color to do the frame. <laughs> what do y'all think? Metallic turquoise. You're just like, let's just paint it turquoise. <laughs> um. Don't know. Okay. Well, my background's gonna be black. See if I can use this. Nope, can't use that still. Santa. Which Santa? Did you make Santa this year or last year? Him? He's this he's this year. Oh, so you had a Christmas party. That sounds fun. Everybody's got lots of Christmas parties to go to this time of the year for sure. Alright. So let's do this. Gold, okay. Let me cut out my canvas. The only reason I didn't want to do this one is because I didn't want to have to paint the frame, but here we are. I was gonna say, I think I got a frame. I'm gonna use all my little frames. I have to go start collecting more. <laughs> Let's do this. Got that super narrow. All right. Thank y'all for hopping on with me. High metallic silver. I just have like what I just used, which is not like high metallic, but it's uh, metallic. Now I need um, a 
found this the other day. I hadn't used this stuff in forever. If it'll even spray. Oh yeah, it'll spray. Y'all ever used that before? <laughs> Be careful when you do. So like, I'm gonna take my piece of canvas. See if I can't spray it in the trash can. I mean, it's super handy to have it when you need it. Cause then like I sprayed it on there. Oh no. Now it's stuck. I don't have to paint it black and brush it with gold and silver. That'd be cute. I don't know. But y'all have to sit here and watch me paint this thing black. thinking I don't know see it's gonna look like this but I gotta paint it I know y'all gotta sit here and watch me paint I hate to sit here and like bore y'all to death painting something but here we go I need some did I buy some more black I hope I did because I don't have a lot of black Okay. Gold. Oh, that's okay. We can wait, Diane. <laughs> All right, let's go with black, and then we'll do rub and buff or something. Because I feel like, I don't know. It's going to take a long time. But I don't got to paint the back, at least, because that's where the fabric's going to be. You aren't bored. <laughs> Good, Tanya. I'm so I'm glad. I'm always scared that somebody's going to be sitting there bored, slammed to death, going, oh my gosh, she's painting something else. <laughs> she's doing something that's going to take 100 years. Copper. Oh, Tanya, that would be pretty. Copper. I just keep looking over here at these. Like, I kind of want it to go with those. If I group them together piece of wood over here. If y'all don't follow Tanya, the Hummingbird Painter, y'all need to go follow Tanya. Tanya, I loved your little uh, Santa nesting dolls. Those things were so precious. I was like, oh my gosh, look at those. I just wish I could paint like that. She could paint faces and stuff. It's amazing. Oh, you did your Santa like this? I love my little Santa. He needs to be inside on my Santa on my coffee bar with all of my Santa mugs, but if I put everything in my house, I wouldn't have anything to put back behind me. <laughs> Ooh, bronze. That would be pretty. I've got some different metallics. Y'all know I got metallics. <laughs> I got lots. I like the metallics family of paints. I'm actually, I have two paint racks over here. I think I've showed them before. I'm about to put one more on this side and put all my metallic paints in it because uh, my paint rack's full and it's overflowing. So I've got to make another paint rack. So I'm going to put my metallic paint on that side. Warm Penny. Ooh. But is he going to go? See, my, my snowman's going to be silver. Silver bells. So, and then his hat's going to be a Santa hat. I got to get my heat tools on the floor because I knocked it on the floor. Goodness. I'm going to find a spot that I missed. Okay. Heat tools on the floor. You can see my rear end up in the camera. Okay. The chair. Sit down. Hello, Mandy. I see Western Grace Home Decor is watching.
Let's see. I'm gonna get it dry first, then we're gonna do something to it. Leave it standing up. Alright, so Mandy, while I'm drying this, let me show you what I made. With my blingy bling. Isn't it cute? Hello, Mandy. That's what we're doing. We're making snowmen. Isn't it cute? With my snowflake. Isn't it cute? Now we're going to do jingle bells. Y'all know I couldn't make just one. Like, when I was getting all the stuff out, I was like, oh, well, I can make one with this, and I can make one with that, and I can make one with this, and I can make one with that, and it just kind of, uh, I, now I got a whole snowman family over here I'm going to have. got to get this off my hands. Oh, Pat, you need to go back and watch? Yes, you'll have to go back and watch the replay. They're super easy. They're just the the bling, like, from Hobby Lobby and stuff. And they're just different sizes. And I made them into snowmen. And then snowflakes that I had. Um, yeah, she need, Mandy needs to do one. I will be sure and tell her that. Okay, we got black. That was a canvas. And then I put my, my black fabric on there. So, I'm going to have a Santa hat on this one. And... Already got glitter on there. Hadn't even gotten started. So I'm going to do this one out of Jingle Bells. Um, so they're going to be silver. Like three little bells. And he's got a pearl stuck to him. And then that hat's going to go on my bell. So I'm thinking silver. I'm thinking it needs to be brushed silver. Because the bells are silver. Maybe a little rub and buff. We'll see. Let me put my paint. Y'all don't worry. I'm, I have a glass top table, if you didn't know. That's why I'm putting paint directly on my table. Uh, let me find another terrible chippy brush. So, see, it's just glass, and I just I can just wipe it right off. And I absolutely 100% love having a glass tabletop. I don't know why I didn't do this a long time ago. Um, I can just do stuff right on my table and... Wipe it right off, and if I can't get it off, then I can get it off with a razor blade when I clean it with Windex. Okay, so there's my silver. Kind of going to kind of go heavy. But I love the glass. I just went to a glass company, and um, I measured my table, and I said I need a piece of glass for a desktop, and I need it to be this big. And I said... You know, what kind of glass do I need? He goes, well, if you're wanting it for a desktop, I know what to do. So, I was like, okay, just cut it for me. And it was probably, if I remember correctly, it was like it was less than $100 for this piece of glass. And it's probably two by f maybe four, two and a half by four. I can't remember. But it's a good size piece of glass. And then I just went and picked it up. And you can put whatever you want to under it glass on a big teacher's desk and you loved it yes you can just clean it right off and it was it'll last me a long time you just can't be hammering on it <laughs> or nothing like that but i've gotten super glue off of it i've gotten um hot glue just comes right off you just you get used to it let's put it like that when you um but i can squirt my paint directly on my glass don't have to have a plate. I usually like to have a plate, but I didn't grab one. So, and I just put it right down on my on my table and then when I get done, I just get my Windex and and all right. So that is silver. I know y'all really can't see. Stand sit glass with the top. Oh, that's cool, Diana. Stand or sit one. This is an island um from Ikea is where this came from. It's got shelves on the front. It's really nice. Um, but that's where I got this. I've had it for, oh gosh, I don't know, four or five years. And I absolutely love it. And I attached me a, my husband attached me a, a paper towel roll right here. 
and I love it. So see, I can just wipe my paint right off. And then what doesn't come off, I'll just get my Windex and then clean it. But it's super cool and I love it. You have the same one, uh, uh, Tanya, the Ikea uh, Island. So it's countertop height, it's really nice. It's okay, Susan, yeah, you can always watch it. Oh yeah, all your kids, and your grandkids have got stuff going on, I get it. Okay, so there's my silver. I know it does, it looks white to y'all, but it is silver. So I think with my little bells, it's gonna look good. Yeah, my friend Cindy with Art Shattered, she works with resin. So she has to have, she has glass and the resin will just pop right off. And that's where I got the idea from, was from her. Um, because it's, it's just a grand idea. I don't have to worry about, you know, uh, a tablecloth or messing up, you know, my stuff or... And then I can put my name under here and y'all can see and somebody's scrolling by on Facebook. They know exactly who I am. <laughs> so it's kind of win-win um, all the way around, really. All right, so I'm just putting my little canvas on here. You love the frame? I think the silver looks good. I may put some rub and buff gold on it, but I'm going to see. But I want to put it in the frame before I start working on it because... I won't have the center, I won't have it centered right if I don't. That makes any sense. Okay, so here it is. That was just a canvas from Dollar Tree. I painted the frame, and that's a piece of black fabric. You can use felt. Um, so if you're just hopping on, this is what we're, we've done so far. It's blingy. They're like little blingy buttons and things. And I made a snowman, dressed up the frame a little bit. And they will go in my house. And I'll display them probably all together. Um, and those are little snowflakes. But we're making little snowmen. And so those will look so cute like in a grouping together. Hey, Robin. All right, so this one I'm going to take just regular jingle bells. Um, the kinds we tied to our shoes when we were kids at Christmas time. Did y'all do that? Pat, you could you could definitely staple that. I just hot glued it. <laughs> I hot glue everything. I can conquer the world. Now, if you have different size, I could conquer the world with a glue gun is what I was going to say. But if you have different size uh, bells, you definitely could do this with... Um, three different sizes. Like if you have a big one, a medium, and a, a small one, you can. And they would be really cute. But I'm just going to do the same three sizes. And I'm going to, this is probably going to make my fingers hot, but we're going to see. It might not. And we'll try to start down at the bottom as low as I can because I got this little hat. So let's see if I do this one, this one, and this one. And then this hat's going to be, oh yeah, it's going to be good. And I'm going to put the same little arms on him, I think. You love the jingle bells? I mean, it just kind of seems right to make a snowman out of some jingle bells. They're round, right? Kind of like a pumpkin. We can make a pumpkin out of anything that's round and a snowman. And anything that's a triangle, we can make it a tree. <laughs> right? I think that's the rules of crafting. If it's round, it can be a snowman, a pumpkin. If it's a triangle, it can be a tree. <laughs> we can make it into a tree. All right. One, okay, so now I've got these two glued on. So there's my jingle bells. See? Okay. So I'm going to take this jingle bell, and I have this little Santa hat. And the Santa hat is a little bit big for my bell. But I'm actually going to put it on there and glue it onto my little um, thing. You have a 23 by 14 glass mat for my work area, Hobby Lobby. I'm loving this grids measure. That's nice, Barb. Has measurement grids and stuff. Y'all, I told y'all I use my lines on here to cheat all the time. That's nice. Okay, so it's a little big. But I'm just going to like wrinkle it up in the back and make it work. 
I say I am. Okay. I'm going to put a dot of glue so I can glue it down in the front. Hey, Pat. How are you? Thank you for hopping on. Let's see. Like I said, y'all, my hands, my fingers just cannot do little things sometimes. It's like trying to hold this and do this. I admire those people that make all these miniature things. It's like, oh my word, I can't do it. So I just kind of folded my hat up in the back and I am, uh, to make it fit, my fingers don't stick to it first. And then I'm gonna glue it to my bail back here. I guess those people that make all those little miniature things, they've got to have some kind of little bitty glue gun or little bitty glue something. I don't know. But my goodness, I can't do it. All right, so here, here's my little bell with my hat. <laughs> um, hey, Beth, how are you? Okay, so I've got to get this hot glue off this bell because I can see it and it's driving me crazy. In the front. All right, so let me glue this one down. And then we're gonna fix this little hat. Okay. All right. His hat looks funny right now, but there's my little snowman. Um, all right, I gotta, where's my, Gotta make him some arms. Interfering with your craft watching. Well, you gotta go see your grandbabies play ball. You can always watch my replay. <laughs> you can't watch a replay of him. All right, so I'm gonna cut some little arms again off this silvery stems from the Dollar Tree, something I've had forever. So there's one arm. And Trying to find the ones that look like a snowman arm. Here we go. See, they look like this. Then I cut those extra little branches off and make it look like a, just the little three fingered snowman hands. Y'all know what they look like, right? Like this. <laughs> so I'm gonna give him his little arms. So you can tell that this is a snowman and not three bells with a hat with a hat on. All right, I'm gonna glue these little suckers on. Get too much glue. <laughs> oh, there's one. Glass pieces at Michael's for the desk. Oh, I've never seen them at, I've never seen them at Hobby Lobby either. The glass top for your table and stuff. Never seen that. I just went to a, um, a glass company, a local glass company to me and just said, hey, this is what I need and this is what, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna fold his little hat down. Okay, so there is his little arms and his, um, his little hat, I folded it down. Isn't this cute? Now, I don't think I'm done with it though, because I think it needs some snow in the background. So I'm gonna take these tiny little pearls and we're gonna make snow. These little pearls like that come on this little paper, y'all know that's sticky on the back? I'm just gonna put some snow up here on my, um, Use all these little bitty baby pearls. I mean, they're itty bitty. And I'm just sticking them on there. Okay. Look how cute. See, they're little bitty pearls. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. One's trying to go away. Don't you do it. Gosh. He don't have any glue on there. So we're gonna 
just trying to get a little bit of glue to come out. Okay, there we go. This is not... That's why like I said I could not work with miniatures, y'all. I just can't. So, okay, now the next question is, oh, now one of my other pearls is, where are you going? He went up under there, didn't come back out, but it's okay. They're so tiny, it's like they don't hardly have any glue on the back. So I had to put some glue. What are you doing? Okay. Some glue up here. And you could definitely take, um, thank you, Kay, for being here. Okay. Um, they gotta have some kind of tiny glue gun or something that they work with when you work with miniatures, because there's no way. All the glue strings. Okay, they're back on there. So now the question is, see the glue strings? Y'all can see it right there. <laughs> um, the question is, do I make him a little nose? Do I like paint him on a nose or just leave it without? Whew. Okay. Put some on the ground too. So keep going. I got... I only got but a few more little baby pearls. Put some down, down here. Hmm. I don't have, I got big pearls. But I don't have little pearls. No more little, any more little ones. No more. I didn't say that. Uh-oh. Ouch. Maybe I can find some more over here on my table. Y'all. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Look, I ran out of pearls. I gotta do something else. Look, <laughs> I ran out. Because I don't have any more. Okay, let's take these pearls off. The big ones gonna do something else because it needs it on the bottom hmm now I wish I would have done this prior to hmm where is this this okay this is called these are stickles somebody sent them to me and they have that real fine little tip on there and then when it dries, it's real glittery. <laughs> You're scrounging your stash for, for cute ones. I just love to have cute little frames. So I'm going to put snow, quote unquote, snow down here at the bottom. Since this has a kind of a little tip on it, I can kind of direct it where I want it to go. It's just going to take a while to dry. But I am going to take a paintbrush and get in between the frame and the bell because my little tip won't go down that far. Funny thing is, is this is, says diamond. And look what color it looks like now. It looks gold. <laughs> I got gold snow. Something happened. I got gold snow. Oh my gosh. It started out white, but that's not diamond. That looks like gold. 
Look at it. <laughs> See? How did it turn gold? And it's called diamond. Diamond. And it's white silver. It has a little gold sheen in there. Your fa chocolate diamonds, your favorite? <laughs> yeah, these are gold diamonds, obviously. It looks really cool on the black, but I wanted it to be snow. All right. And we're just going to drop back and do something else. We'll just do this. Sugar stuff on it. Yeah, look. I've got, this is the Walmart, I mean Walmart, the, hop, the Dollar Tree that this, the fake snow. We're just going to use that stuff like glue and put some snow on it. Since the diamond's not white or clear, it's gold. Okay, that's before I'm shaking it off. <laughs> now I'm going to shake it off in the garbage. Hopefully don't, my pearls don't go anywhere. Okay. That's better. 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 It's not gold. <laughs> okay. So, I got fuzz in my mouth. Does he need a nose? And I had an orange. Oh, there it is. thought about just making him a little bitty nose since he's different than the rest okay now I'm going to attempt to cut down the fuzz into a point <laughs> like I said I am not a miniature artist by any stretch look at that oh I did it Look at my nose, y'all. It's actually a point. Let me hold it in front of my shirt. It is a point. I did it. I cut the chenille stuff down to a point. Okay, but now I feel like... Hmm. Now I feel like he needs eyeballs. If he's going to have a nose, he's got to have eyes. That's how I feel now. Like, okay. All right, hang on. Oh, All right. I needed to stand up. My legs are getting stiff sitting down. I did it. Look, it's a point. <laughs> it can be done. It's the perfect carrot. Okay, so this is that little puff paint. I don't know. What do you call it? Um... And it's going to take a little while for it to dry, but I'm going to put him. Oh, that wasn't good. <laughs> Two eyeballs. Basically, they're just dots. And they're going to have to dry. They take overnight to dry. So, also, if you can see his eyeballs, <laughs> he looks like a robot. <laughs> a silver... Robot snowman <laughs> jingle bells. Okay. Gotta see which way my okay, there's the way my carrot goes. So I'm gonna put the tiniest drop of glue with a glue string. I don't know what to think about him. Look at him. <laughs> He's a Star Wars snowman. He does. He looks like a little robot. But he has Jingle Bells. Isn't that cute? <laughs> look at his look, look at that carrot nose that's come to a point. Boy, I tell you what. I trim that chenille down. But these are my favorite. Look how cute though. And then this one with snowflakes. And then <laughs> he's the black sheep of the family. And he's just gonna have to, I'm gonna lay him down so his eyeballs will, will dry right. Okay. 
I want to do, I don't know what we're going to put him on, but let me show y'all how to do one of these. Your great nephew would love him. He's so cute though. It's just different. Okay. White pipe cleaner. You can do it with silver, um, but you're just going to roll it into a circle. I love all three too. They're just so cool. And if you have any like old jewelry of your grandmother's or something, those would be just beautiful to display at Christmas. Or you can make ornaments and hang on the tree. Um, but see, you can make round circles like this. Crazy Mom Creations, good evening. We're making snowmen. Okay. So see that? Oh, my nose is itching. I gotta find something to put him in, maybe. Maybe? Let's see if I can. I kinda wanna save the metal ones for my blingy. I don't know, I don't know. Let's see. That's gonna be, I might can get away with that one. Okay, so you can make like, then that way you can make them as big as you want to. So there's, this is a Dollar Tree little frame. Oh, Kathy, I'm so talented. Just taking three little balls and making a snowman. <laughs> I just like, um, I mean, I could, like I said, if it's round, you can make a snowman or you can make a pumpkin. If it's a triangle, you can make a tree. That's like the rules of crafting. <laughs> or if it's a triangle, it can be a candy corn. All right. Look how little that glass is. So let's see. Is that the same size? It's the same size. All right, where's, I'm finally going to get to use this oval that I cut two of earlier and I didn't need but one. So let's use that. And cut some more black fabric. I just like the black because it just gives it, it pops off that black so well. The white snowman or the silver or whatever color you're, you know, silver or white. It just makes it look so, it pops off the black. Thank you, Sheila. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of, oh, well, yeah. Let me use my little spray spray. I came across this in my stash the other day. I forgot that I even had it. But you really have to kind of be careful with it. Thank you. I don't know if you have to spray both surfaces joined allowed to dry. It says allowed to dry to tack, but you know, I'm sticking it right on there. Okay. There's my, see, it works great when you just, this adhesive stuff, when you just need it to stick right in. And my frame is kind of green, but I'm going to go with it. Okay. So I need to Let's put it back in here so I'll know where to put my snowman. Good night, Vicky. Thank you for watching and being here. Okay, so it's green, but we're just gonna go with it. I don't know what I could do to it real quick to where it's not green, but the snowman's gonna be fat. He just won't be pro done with those. And you can take these frames and take the, that little easel off and put a magnet on the back and make these little magnets for your refrigerator. But this is a Dollar Tree little frame. I love those little frames. Okay, so I gotta make my bottom ones a little bit smaller. <laughs> He's a little too plump. I gotta shrink him down some. All right, there's that one. Do all snowmen have to have three balls or do they just need they just need to be two, two snowballs? Do y'all like all y'all's to be three? What do y'all do? Loud no snow here, but loud thunder. Goodness. Okay. Alright, so see we can just make them just wind it on itself. 
since we've been on the pipe cleaner kind of thing. But this would be cute little magnets. You could make gift tags for your presents. Um, two and put a scarf on it. So yeah, do y'all do two or three? Um, some people, I don't know, I guess I just always do three, but yeah, you can do two and put a scarf in the middle. <laughs> All right, so there's my two. My second one don't look much smaller than the big, than the first one, but it is. You went, you was down a rabbit hole. Tammy, what kind of rabbit hole you been down? Okay. Look how cute he is. He looks cute just like that. See, he's, he's fuzzy, so he's a pipe cleaner fuzzy. Um, Two with a hat. Well, I got three. He's just going to be bald. <laughs> All right. Let's make him a nose. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of liking these little nose with um, this little pipe cleaner. So I just took it like this and I'm cutting the fuzz like small, like a tree, like a, a carrot nose at an angle. Look at the fuzz on my scissors. <laughs> That's funny. I'm getting, getting that down pat now. I got I can make a carrot nose out of a pipe cleaner. This glue. All right, here he is so far. Look at him. Look how adorable this is. That is so cute. Okay. And let's see, do I have, I have these, but I think those are too big for his eyes. You know, these are just the little Michaels, the little press on little gems. I think those are too big. So I'm trying to think I can make him some eyes with the paint. This, it's got like a real fine tip on it. I think I only use this paint at Christmas, like. Come on. And of course it wanted to spit right there. on my project, my, it wanted to go and got stuff on it. Okay. I don't want to mess with it too much because I'm going to mess up his eye. Look at it, isn't it cute? Okay, I'm telling y'all I could have just so much fun just sitting here playing with all this stuff. Now he needs, he definitely needs the pipe cleaner scarf, I think. Where's my other scarf? Okay, when I doubled it, it made it too big. So let's do this. Okay. long that's the cutest one because <laughs> he's because he's fuzzy that's why he looks fluffy snowy uh, thank you Kimberly <laughs> I can't <laughs> I like I said I am not a miniature artist I love miniature stuff, and I just don't see how they do it. I really don't. It's like, oh my gosh. They must have some tiny, tiny, tiny tip little glue gun or some kind of something. Tweezers. I know they have tweezers, but... Okay. Look how stinking cute he is with his scarf. <laughs> He's your favorite? He reminds me of those, uh, the little Easter chicky, chickens that are made of the chenille stuff. That's what he looks like. 
Night, Wendy. You love it? So, see? All right. So, if you just hopped on and you missed it, these are the blingy ones. That one. That's my favorite. And then this one with the snowflakes. Look how cute. And you could put little, you could make a little sign. If your frame was bigger, you know, and you had more area and your snowman was small, you could write, let it snow with like glue and then put glitter or you could put, you know, burr or whatever. There's so many possibilities you can do. And then here's Mr. Jingle Bell. Looks like a robot snowman. <laughs> <laughs> jingle, 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 jingle. <laughs> Your, I love, this one's my favorite too. The, the first one in the oval frame. But now he's kind of growing on me. He's really cute. Um, we could definitely... I'm trying to think about what I'm going to do to this frame. I don't think that's going to look good, but we're going to see. Oh, what if we did this? <laughs> like, we could definitely put that around the frame. Ooh. We. Oh, I just had an idea. Idea, idea. I think that was a pearl. <laughs> you want a picture as your screensaver of them? That's funny. Okay, so what if I did this? Hmm. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to go with this green. I'm trying to go with the green. Okay. top back on my rub and buff before it I lose the top <sighs> let's see oh yes this is perfect right here hold on hold on <laughs> he needs a little hat he needs a hat <laughs> I don't have I didn't leave any room for a hat I made him kind of big okay all right snowflake again Alright, so I'm going to take, this is just Baker's Twine, and I'm going to just glue it to the back. Some glue there. Stay right there. I love just doing stuff like this, just sitting here and got a whole table full of stuff and just playing, basically. Alright, so since it's got a loop on it, I'm going to use that. Get all the glitter out of it first. Put that on the end of my Baker's Twine bow. Put that on the end of my string, my hot glue, so I can get it through that hole. Go in there. There we go. And just hang this little snowflake off of it. All right, so this. Put my snowflake right there. And glue it down again. Night, Robin. Okay. So there's my little snowflake. Look at how cute. <laughs> this is like when we play with Barbies. Yes, Norman, you put all the clothes on them and they all wore the different shoes and... Um, all that stuff. Yeah, this is what it's like. We just play with all the little things. See, I could put snow. We could put snow down here. Y'all, I can't. 
right worth anything and I can't get to my stamps. Wouldn't that be super cute? Look at him. He is adorable. He's just adorable. Uh, let's give him some... Let's give him some green. Let's put some green behind my snowflake. Hmm. Well, that ain't gonna work. Ow. Just cutting me some berries off this thing. See if I can stick some berries. Yeah, look at here. Thank you, Carolyn. You cute. But it's just a little Dollar Tree frame. Nothing major. Y'all probably have some in your stash. Like I do. And I'm using them all tonight, it seems like. Okay. So now I put greenery and in my snowflake and just some berries. Look how cute. <laughs> that would be a cute ornament or even a gift tag on a present. How adorable is that? Just little stuff. Just stuff. Uh, let's do this. Mm -hmm. I don't know if my rubbing buff is dried up. Yep. It is. Put a little bit of... You love this one? <laughs> so cute. Me too. I love snowmen. We're just gonna put a little bit of, I say a little bit and then I make a big old swoosh mark of it. Just a little bit of gold. Give him, a, we gotta give him a little bling bling too. Since he's not blinged out like the other ones. Okay. See, I just put a little rubbing buff on there. You cute. Pink cheeks, uh oh. Pink cheeks. Got to have the, he's got, they got to have the blush. Whoop, knocking everything down in the process. Got to have a little cover girl. Can't see but one of his cheeks, so. Okay. You can just see one. Yes, you can keep them out for winter. Yes. That's kind of why I was doing a snow, snowman craft. Um, But I just kind of went with the green. Like, we got to go with the green. All right, hang on. I got to grab one thing. Let's see if this black is right here. Yes, it is. Black. Soot. Take my little black stamp pad. I should have done this first before the rubbing buff, but it doesn't matter. It'll be all right. Oh, that was a huge mistake right there. Oh, well, we're just going to make it work to our advantage. Got to make it match. made a big old smear of black on my frame so then I had to put it everywhere else see I made this big smear right here and I was like ah oh, I was doing so good and yeah so I just had to kind of do it a little more <laughs> but it's okay because we fixed it okay and he cute Y'all can just keep going and going and going and do all the things to all the stuff. You could put a little, like I said, you could put a little bitty tag down here. It says snow. You can stamp it on the frame. They're so cute. Thank you, Pat. I'm singing Lee can build a snowman. That's all I know of that song. I can't remember the rest. 
but um I want to do one more <laughs> I can't help myself okay so now we have all these all right I want because I want to use this silver it's like it's silver like silver plated or something 99 cents at the Goodwill. Let's just take the sticker off that says 99 cents. All right. I guess this one just... I want to open a frame one day and find like a $100 bill in the back of it. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Oh, it is silver plated. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah, you can see how it's kind of a little tarnished in there. Just keep going, Norma. All right. Let's see. Do you want to build a snowman? Now you've got me doing it. <laughs> Do you want to build a snowman? Then that's all I know. I might have to go look it up so I can say it. We could sing the hippopotamus song. That gets really stuck in your head. Um, Just sing that. One more, one more, one more. Okay. All right, so I got my black. Let me start off with no glitter. Try to. Jeez. It's glitter season. That's what time it is. It's glitter season. It's not Christmas or any of that. It's glitter season. Because you know it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Okay. Now, if you've got in any buttons, vintage buttons, um... I love these, too. If I see a bag of those at the thrift store or somewhere and they're reasonable, I like to pick them up. Um, I love them. If we can cut the shank off the back, that's going to be another problem. So, these most of these are kind of plastic. Plasticky? Plastic? Plastic something? Um... Can't tell if that is or not. Oh, it's plastic. We just popped it, popped the little shank right off the back. Five little snowmen sitting on the heel. All right, now my glass is in here. But yeah, if you've got any like old buttons or vintage buttons or you know the fancy plastic kind or whatever, um, I like to get those if I see them. know if I want that one so I was I had never looked through this bag that I had of these and so today I got them all out and I was like oh these would be pretty I've got them at a thrift store somewhere but you know <clears throat> people used to cut their buttons off their clothes um, and they saved the buttons and so you definitely um, can, if you can find somebody's old stash, they're probably going to have buttons from all their clothes from over the years. You know, it's what older people did. The second one said, I think it's going to snow. Oh, I want to build it. Hey, Susanna. I want to build a snowman. Um, I'm trying to find the right one for the head. I think this one's going to be it. I think this is going to do it. Okay, I'm going to show y'all when I get, get him all done. Okay. Luckily, these are plastic, so they worked out perfect. It's going to look so good with this silver frame. These, I mean, the other ones were buttons, too. All of those I use were buttons, but these are like... Real close buttons. <laughs> okay, there's that one. These were definitely easier because I could just cut the shank right off the back. S Susanna, I love looking at old buttons too. Oh, Stacia, you can make some little snowmen with them and you can do them with white buttons. I have done that and used the baker's twine for their um, 
for their uh, scarves. See these buttons? So pretty. It looks so cool with this frame. All right, I think he's gonna have arms. Where's my silver? And you can make arms out of your pipe cleaners too. I didn't even think about that. Um, this is Dollar Tree silver somethings. Branches. And I just cut, been cutting the tops off and cutting off the extra little branches and making little arms. They don't have to have arms. Some snowman don't have arms, and it's okay if you don't have arms. Or you could go find little tiny sticks outside, and you could make arms. You could just paint them. Put some rubbing buff on the sticks and make some arms. You could definitely do that. Rub and buff will cover anything. All right. I gotta cut that way down. <laughs> Cause it's too long. Gosh, that's some tough stuff. All right. I'm itching. <laughs> that middle one, I can't cut. It's so stiff. Do you want to build a snowman? You like your snowman with arms? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Some people think they look like they're missing something if they don't have arms. But I've seen them without arms all the time. It's fine. And it's okay. Because, you know, if you don't have the right arms, it's definitely going to look weird. All right, so there's his little arms. Look how cute it is. So cute. Like, you could even take your little holly branches like this, and you can make arms, cut him some little arms. Um, make you some little twig arms. All right, now he needs a hat. Oh, the hat. The hat's what worries me. <laughs> the hat is what gets me every time. So, like, this gold hat, that's too big. Both of your grandmother's buttons. Yes, and see, if you put, if you did something like this with them, then you could put them out at Christmas every year and be like, oh, those are my grandmother's buttons. Because, I mean, I know I'm, I'm the world's worst. I have stuff sitting in a, in a box somewhere in a closet. And you can't enjoy it. And if you do this, you definitely could um, enjoy it so much better. I'm trying to think about this hat. Um, if you had it out where you could see it. A little cardinal on his arm. Oh, Lord, y'all are pushing it now. A cardinal. Not just pushing me to the limit here. <laughs> you want me to get smaller and make a little bitty bird about that big? <laughs> a little bitty, bitty baby bird. <laughs> a bead hat. I wish I had square buttons. That's that's the thing. You don't see square buttons either. Like you don't see oval frames very much. Um, I'm just trying to see what I have that I could make a hat with. Hmm. Right now I'm trying to make a bird. I, Carolyn, that's what I'm trying to do is find a, a square button and I don't have one. As many buttons as I have, I don't have a, a square one. Now, if I put just a little red little dot up there on his little hand, are you going to know what that is? Are we going to know that it's a bird? Okay. Does that look like a bird? <laughs> yeah, see, Jennifer, he had square buttons. Okay, who just said that? I remember our shopping trips. Oh, Susanna, yes, going to Joanne's. Use the pearls and make a hat. Oh, okay. All right, I don't know about the cardinal. <laughs> All right, let's see. Hmm. Okay, I'm just trying to. 
rule out anything else. Square cut ribbon or burlap for his hat. Well, mm. <laughs> I'm thinking, because the background's black. My brain is going. Mm. I wish I had some foam with glitter on it. Here's my button jar, one of them. And I guarantee you there's not a square button in there, probably. Be willing to say that there's not. There's round ones, lots of round ones. I made his hat. Yeah, I need a little something more fancier than burlap. That's exactly what I was thinking too. What if I made him? Let's see if I can't make it out of this pipe cleaner again. My tongue hanging out. I, I, I've, I caught myself. Okay, this is gonna be it. His hat's gonna be on straight though this time. Jewels. Yeah, I don't I don't have any big enough square ones. I wish I did. I was looking for that before I started, before I got on. But I think this is gonna be Good, right here. Well, I stuck it in the glue and now it's stuck down, but that's fine. It's stuck right where it needs to be. Okay. Now y'all gonna be on the lookout for little frames. Okay, here's his hat. He has got a shiny pipe cleaner hat and I just wove it back and forth like this and then squished it really tight together. Look how cute it is. And he's, he's, he's got a silver button and these are kind of gold at the bottom. But the top one is silver. It looks gold on there though. Isn't it cute? It's perfect. He's got the perfect little hat. I'm gonna get these glue strings around me nuts. If I have said glue strings one time, I've said it 95 times, I know, during this live. <laughs> Y'all been counting? Let's see, what if... Oh. Y'all, I'm telling you, this miniature stuff is, is, is not for the faint of heart. This tiny stuff. But I like the tiny stuff. Well, now I think it needs to be... I was trying to cut a little greenery for his hat. Maybe. It's got, it's sparkly. It's sparkly. So I thought maybe that might look good. Matches his arms and the frame. It does, doesn't it? And the top button is silver. It just looks gold on there. On here for some reason. Okay. And let's see. Well, I'm trying to find one that's not so dark green. 
I don't know if I did this. It's too big. Because it has sparkle on it too, so I thought it would look cute with, um. Now I'm back to having glitter everywhere. Okay. I'm going to put that green on his hat. And I have got red little things somewhere. If I don't, I've got red, a little red berry. Well, could have picked a better one. On this bush over here, it's got little red berries on it. So I'm gonna steal one red berry. He's got one little twig of green and one berry on his hat. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Yep, Judy, I'm going to have glitter everywhere. It's glitter season. That's what I need a shirt that just says it's glitter season. Not Christmas, it's glitter season. Merry glitter season. I know, it's like I was messing with that stuff. And the glitter just started falling down on it. And here I am working so hard not to get it on there. Look how cute he is. He's so cute. Oh, the, I did the snowman from the table legs, um, what, a couple years ago? But look how cute, y'all. This one, this, this will stay out. Okay, see? That one. And, like, y'all, if you had all of these on, like, a table together, these would be so cute. Um, but you could put like that one in front. Um, now, Mr. Roboto, he is in his own zone over here. He's the Star Wars version of the snowman. <laughs> See if his eyes are hanging in there. They are. <laughs> but, um, but like have how these look together and they match together and have like three or five or something and put you some greenery right here. He's so, so pretty on, um, on like an entry table. Just kind of elegant, winter elegant kind of thing. Um, but you can do them from winter elegant all the way down to pipe cleaner. I just love them. I mean, I even love him. I think he is so stinking adorable. Maybe he needs some, maybe he needs some greenery up here or something. Maybe that would like him better if he had some greenery at the top. All right, let's do this. Where's, where's some more? Let me get some greenery. I'm going to get some up here that matches. I have a whole family. I know. I'm ready for winter now. When Christmas is over, I'll like put these on my... I have a black hutch in my living room, big area room. And it's black, and these will be perfect on it. Has a mirror in the back of it, and it's so pretty. And these will look just perfect on a riser on that on that table. And I'm ready to put it up there now. <laughs> All right, maybe if I put some greenery on Mr. Roboto over here, let me work on him some more. It need the frame needs something. And they're so cute, y'all. And you see how easy they are. They're very simple. Okay. And you could, like I said, the one with the buttons, where'd it go? This one? You could do it with just white buttons. Because, you know, you can get, they have all sizes. Red berries, red berries, red berries. See, I have this, like, twig from Dollar Tree, and I just pull, pull some berries off of it. Oh. You love the Jingle Bell one? That's what I'm working on now. I'm trying to I'm trying to give him some some something on his frame. He needed something at the top. Some berries and some greenery or something. Okay. Now. 
he looks better. Yay! That looks better, doesn't it? Put a little swag up at the top. He looks a lot better. But you could do this so many different ways. But look at my little pearl snow. Isn't it cute? <laughs> and that nose is the pointiest pipe cleaner nose you ever did see. <laughs> so cute. You keep them out from the end of February. Because in Michigan, you still have snow in March and April. Oh. I would not make it. My snow looks better. It's not gold in the bottom anymore. Yeah, he looks better. He's a little jingle bell. But if you had like three different size jingle bells, it would look cute too. It'd probably look better if you had like a big fat one and then a medium and a small one. But he had to have the Santa hat. I think he's adorable. I pay him I have the best brain. I don't know. Sometimes it's uh it's a little crazy up in there sometimes. I get so many ideas and at once. And it's like, ugh. and then I forget it. And then hours later, I'm like, oh my gosh, what was that I thought about doing? What was that? And I can't think of it because I was, didn't write it down. Um, <laughs> thank you, Linda. Y'all are so sweet, but look how cute. But now the, these bling ones, they're on Pinterest they're everywhere. I've been seeing them on Instagram. It's like, oh, I want to do these for winter. I've had them on my list forever to do because... Um, I'm going to lay him down and him down because I don't want their eyes to, because, you know, that I did that paint. But I just love how elegant this looks. And like I said, you could put, put them on your little table. Y'all see when I style for the pictures and poke you some greenery behind here on your table and like maybe a jingle bell or a snowflake or something. And you have your whole little vignette of your little snowman family of all the different little jewels and gems and stuff and when people look at them they're like oh my gosh those are so cute look how pretty they are they're little you know and they, they get to look at them um leon sometimes i write down in my notes on my phone sometimes um thank you diane y'all are so sweet yes yeah, so you'll have to watch but i just love them and i know y'all got lots of little snowflakes in your stash isn't it cute a snowman made of snowflakes, right? <laughs> Send all the snow to you. Oh, look how cute. Yeah, a little snow skirt would be cute. And like if you had like a little shelf center that was a snowflake. Or like this kind of little snowflake. You could just kind of lay them out on your stuff and then have all these. It would be so cute. On a riser or something, on a table. Be so adorable for winter. Or, as Mandy says, you can put them in a cloche. And everything looks better in a cloche. Like, have this in a glass dome. Oh, just beautiful. Colorado got snow today. Ugh, y'all can keep that. Y'all keep that snow over there. Over there, up there, down, wherever. <laughs> um, <laughs> we may have tornadoes every once in a while, but I don't want snow. Um, for hats. Yeah, Stacia. Yeah, I mean, this is so cute. But the black just, like, makes it go way on right in your face. And it just gives it that um, that elegance look to it. And the gold, the gold and all that just makes it look like it's real high end. It's very cute. To me, it is. And, of course, I would love to have had black velvet to put these on. But I didn't have black velvet. But the black fabric is just as good. Looks so good. Speaking of black velvet, I'm going to see Elvis tomorrow. <laughs> going to visit his grave tomorrow. Me and my son. We're going to the Peabody to watch the ducks. And then come out. And then we're going to Graceland. So I'll be seeing Elvis tomorrow. So I can't wait. But I uh, love me some Elvis. My son's never been. So we're going. <laughs> We were supposed to go today, and things got all kind of messed up, so we're going tomorrow. But I will post pictures, all that stuff. I will post pictures of Graceland, what they let you take of it, because inside, this, inside the actual uh, house, they won't let you take pictures, I, I think, if I remember right. Uh, flash photography, you can't do, so we'll see. Um, we will. We'll make good memories, eat something good for lunch. And then I got my paint class tomorrow night at 6. So if y'all are uh, still want <clears throat> to get in the workshop, you can. 
is for purchasing my shop and the work you'll get a download that tells you about the group to go to if you have any trouble let me know and it we're doing it at six o'clock tomorrow night we're painting the trees these trees and they got blingy on them and i cannot wait not all of them do but uh whoop as upside down tree we're gonna do that tree got a lot of painting oh it's upside down you're gonna need this one <laughs> We're going to do that one, all the little lights, and then we're going to do that one. This is my favorite, um, but I'm going to show y'all how to paint the tree, everything. So, it's going to be so much fun. So, if you want to join, you can go to my shop. Just type shop TTV in the comments, and it will take you, it will give you a link in your messenger to my shop, and then you can go and um, to my shop, and it's in the painting classes, and it's in the miscellaneous file. So, yes, Tammy, I am so excited, too. I cannot wait. It's going to be fun. So, bring your hot cocoa at 6 o'clock, and we're going to paint. And um, after I've had the day with my son, yeah, so we're going to have fun. So, I will see y'all Monday. Y'all have, oh, I won't see y'all Monday because I'm going to keep my grandbaby. So, maybe Tuesday. I'll have to see what's going on because, you know, it's a week of Christmas. It's getting all, we're getting close, y'all can't believe it it was just thanksgiving the other day right now it's we're almost a week from christmas so uh, i'm going to keep my grandbaby uh monday because Paige has got to go run some errands and i'm gonna go babysit her so we'll see i'll let y'all know when i'll be live again so i love y'all thank y'all for being here as always i can't wait to see y'all's version of this and I'll see y'all next time. Y'all have a good rest of the week and a good weekend. Yes, Lynn, I'm going to go love on that baby. So, I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys.